Hey, this is Scott, and today we're gonna to do the first and probably only unboxing with kids. And today we're unboxing the Moza Mini Me S. So this just came in the mail today and I actually wasn't even expecting it, so thank you to Moza. So I just wanted to go ahead and get this into an unboxing video before I kind of get into it and start playing around with it. So my kids are here, so they're gonna join me in the video today, right? Right? Okay, and they said they're gonna be good, they promise. Um, so a little while back I made a review of the Moza Mini Me, the original, which I have right here. And uh, I, I said that this was one of my favorite uh, smartphone gimbals on the market, uh, but of course it's not perfect. And as you can see, one of those kind of imperfections is that it's not exactly mini. It's actually one of the largest uh, mobile gimbals on the market. So uh, the Moza Mini S is kind of an improvement in that mini department. This one is going to be much smaller, much more compact and travel friendly. So let's go ahead and get into this box. What are you doing, Melissa? Mm -hmm. All right, so can you go ahead and pull this little thing here? for me. Pull that for me. And there it is. So unlike the original Mini Me, this does not have a proper carry case it seems. So this is just in some foam right now. Uh, on the top we have, it looks like some instructions. This is paperwork and stuff like that. Some instructions on how to uh, unfold it because this is like a foldable design similar to the Snapa Atom. So we'll put that aside for now and take this out as well. Um, and this is also my first time. I did open this up just to kind of quickly look at what's in here, but I didn't touch anything. I didn't take anything out. So this is my first time to look at this as well. So first off, let's see what accessories we have in here. Uh, this is a little carry bag. Like I said, there is no proper carry case. I think this foldable design is intended to be, you know, more compact. So they didn't want to take up space by having a hard case like they did with the original. So they have this little cloth type carry bag. We'll see how much I actually end up using that. And in that same little compartment, we got some cables. Uh, we have what looks like 3.5 millimeter cable to, I'm terrible at remembering these micro, mini, whatever, blah, blah, blah cable. So whatever, I'll put the information up on screen. And then we have a regular uh, USB-C cable to full size USB. So this is maybe for charging it, I suspect. Then over here, we have this uh, little mini tripod. This looks pretty much the same as the original mini tripod that was with the original mini me which i kind of liked it's small it's compact but it did a good job and it's got some you know rubber feet on the bottom so that looks to be almost the same as the original and then it looks like we have only the gimbal remaining so there it is and again it's not quite as compact as like the snapa atom m is but it's a similar design it seems i'm um, just looking at it quickly before i even try to unfold it there's some, uh, there's a wheel that does not spin. It's just a push wheel as well as a joystick on the front here. Um, these are the center button and uh, that's pretty much it on that side. On the other side, you have an up and down button, which says W and T, I guess for wide and telly. That will be a zoom button, probably can control focus too. On the side, you have a record button as well as the USB-C, I suspect that's for charging. And then on the back, which is now kind of hidden by the folded design, is a trigger and that's, you know, kind of similar to all of the other Moza gimbals in the way it works, I suspect. There's a little lock on the side here. Just pull that back. It's a spring-loaded lock. So as I pull that back, this will swing open and then this kind of moves freely. Uh, because of this design here, this actually does not have full 360 degree rotation. So that's something that is different from the original may be good or not, maybe it doesn't matter, but uh, just keep that in mind. And this little lock will spring into place to hold it in place as well. Uh, this arm here is locked in just with a little kind of uh, push lock. It's not anything you have to actually push with your finger, but it'll just snap into place when you close it down. And that's pretty much it. And then you got the gimbal open and it looks pretty much like a regular gimbal in the way that it works uh, compared to like the Snapa M, which does have kind of a different design from most although it does appear that the phone will not kind of butt up against the side like it does with traditional gimbals. It will be an open-ended clip here where the, the phone is not gonna have to deal with that. And you can maybe more easily put things like external microphones or 
whatever you want to put on there. So anyway, that was just a quick unboxing. I'm going to go into a lot more detail in my final review, but I, like I said, I wasn't even expecting to get this. So again, thank you to uh, Moser for sending it to me, but I have a lot of research to do to figure out how this works and to test it over these next few weeks. And then I will put together a full review. So if you have any questions in the meantime, leave them down below and I'll make sure to address that in my final review. Otherwise, if you have any questions or comments about just what's here in this box or other basic stuff, let me know down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you like this video or found it helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to see more in the future, and as always, thank you for watching. Say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. See you next time. See you next time.